Brown eggs are more nutritious than white eggs. Myth or fact? Myth. There is no study saying brown eggs are healthier than white eggs. The only difference is the color of the eggshell. The color of the eggshell doesn't affect its nutrition or quality. That is related to the type of chicken. Chickens with white earlobes tend to have white eggs. Have you heard that a large amount of the dust in your home is actually decanted skin? Not cool, I know. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? This is a myth. You're not just mopping your skin flakes from the floor. Many other components make the house dust. Fibers, hair, building materials, mold, pollen, insect body parts, and ash are some of them, according to the study made in Canadian houses. This makes sense because a house nearby a busy highway or in a renovation area has more dust than a house in the middle of a forest. Skin is our largest organ. Is this a fact or myth? It's a fact. You might think for a second that the intestine can be quite large when you unfold it, but nope. Skin wins the contest. An adult carries around 8 pounds and 22 square feet of skin. Can't think of us without a skin. It's not just there to cover our bodies. It has an essential role in protecting us too. You can't breathe and swallow at the same time. Myth or fact? It's a fact. Maybe you already knew the correct answer, but you tried it anyway after reading this. So see it for yourself. So in your throat, there are two passageways important for your survival. I'm putting aside the fancy medical names and I'll refer to those two as airway and food pipe. They prevent breathing and swallowing simultaneously. Otherwise, food would enter the airway and cause severe complications. This doesn't always go as planned. That's why sometimes you end up coughing and preventing the piece of food from reaching the lungs. As well as having unique fingerprints, humans also have unique tongue prints. Is this a myth or fact? Fact! The human tongue is magnificent enough in its features that make us taste the food. It's also unique in its texture. People use biometric systems like fingerprints, voice scans, and iris scans for authentication. They are important to the identification and verification phases. Tongue print is unique, so it's very hard to copy it. It can be used as a biometric system tool too. What if people started using this system in their daily lives for safety reasons? Imagine locking a safe or your phone with a tongue print. An adult spends three hours in the bathroom every week. Do you think this is a fact or a myth? It's a fact. A poll by scientists reveals that an average adult spends three hours and nine minutes on the toilet every week. This is more than the time they spent exercising. Take your sweet time. No need to rush. You swallow eight spiders a year while sleeping. Myth or fact? Don't believe it. Lucky for us, and for the spiders of course, this is not true. Fear no more and have a good night's sleep. Most spiders don't deliberately come near humans. Plus, vibrations coming from a sleeping person might be uncanny for them. Or maybe the spider just lives in the habitat. It thinks that you are flatmates sharing a room. As long as there is actual evidence, I call this a myth. Your thigh bone can resist thousands of pounds of force. Do you think this is a myth or a fact? Yes, this is a fact. People generally refer to it as tight bone, but its actual name is femur bone. This bone is located on the upper part of your leg. Experts say that this bone is hard to break. It's one of the two strongest bones in our anatomy. The first one is the temporal bone of the skull. If you wondered about the first one. Anyway, a tight bone can support 30 times more of your body weight. Maybe it's because the femur bone is the longest and largest bone in the human body. Do you believe that shaving your hair makes it grow back thicker? Fact or myth? Watch how I debunk that myth. Experts say shaving doesn't affect the thickness of the hair. The hair's head didn't remove, so the root is still there. You only shave the upper part. After a shave, the hair grows bluntly because it's been cut. That's why you may feel it's getting thicker. It's safe to eat food that's been on the floor for 5 seconds or less. Is this a fact or a myth? Sorry for blocking the best way you justify eating something that fell on the floor. There's no such thing as the 5 second rule. Researchers found that a substantial amount of bacteria transferred to the food within 5 seconds. The moisture of the food directly affects contamination. Imagine you drop a slice of watermelon and chips on the floor. 
I don't know why you're eating both together or how you end up dropping them both. But let's continue with this example anyway. The watermelon will have more contamination than chips because watermelon has more moisture in it. The surface of the watermelon is more open to transferring bacteria. Blondes and redheads may soon disappear. Myth or fact? An easy one, right? This is a myth. Red or blonde colored hairs are connected to recessive genes. They can be carried from one generation to another without creating the hair color of the carrier. If both parents have the correct recessive genes, the chances are high that the next generation will have blonde or red hair. These genes are rare, but populations still have those genes carried out so they won't get lost forever. For that to happen, literally everyone on the planet who carries that gene must disappear. So, the chances are low. Drinking coffee dehydrates you. Is it a fact or myth? Myth! You can enjoy your morning coffee. Okay, you may visit the bathroom more frequently after drinking coffee, but it doesn't mean you're losing more water. There are numerous studies made about the effects of caffeine. Some of these studies revealed that drinking a reasonable amount of coffee a day doesn't increase the risk of dehydration. Eating yogurt helps your digestion. Do you think this is a fact or just another myth? A fact, but with the right choice of yogurt. Yogurt is food containing probiotics. They are the good bacteria that make everything flow smoothly in your gut. Eating yogurt alone may not be enough to have a healthy digestive system. It supports the digestive system positively. Keep in mind though, not all yogurts are equal. Some of them have sugar in them, or they come with toppings like candy or cookies. Go for the classic ones. Your hair will grow faster if you have it cut more often. Fact or myth? We were always told not to cry too much over the hair we lost because it would grow back faster. Unfortunately, the hair growth rate doesn't depend on how often you get a haircut. The average hair growth rate is 0.01 inches per day. Plus, many factors affect it – age, hormones, and even the time of year. Knowing this new fact may make some people postpone their hairdresser appointments. Carrots can help you see in the dark. Myth While carrots are full of vitamin A, which helps maintain eyesight, you won't get night vision. In the 1940s, British Air Forces invented a new radar, and to keep it secret, they told everyone it was carrots that helped them see at nighttime. Diamonds aren't a special gemstone. True! While diamonds may be a great engagement rock, they're not as rare as we've been made to believe. Advertising campaigns have made this very common rock something extraordinary. If you want something really rare, Painite gems will look beautiful and empty your wallet at the same time. Around $50,000 a carat. Fruit Loops have different flavors. Myth. There's no point in avoiding the color you don't like. All the colors are the same flavor. Even Kellogg's has stated that they all share the same blended fruit flavor. Well, now I don't know what to believe anymore. Dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can obliterate a person below. Myth. While the penny won't tickle, it will not damage anyone on the ground. Simply, the penny can't build up enough speed while it's tumbling to the ground. Better to just keep the change in your pocket. The moon has a dark side. Myth. No, the moon isn't going to use the force to rule. Our satellite is tidally locked with the Earth, meaning that we're always looking at one side. But there's no permanent dark side. Kleenex was originally designed for gas masks. True. Yeah, Kimberly Clark originally designed a thin cotton substitute to be used as a filter. In 1924, Kleenex began selling in the U.S. as a cold cream and makeup remover, eventually turning into the soft tissues we love today. Chocolate is bad for you. Boy, isn't that a myth. <laughs> While too much chocolate, just like too much of anything, can indeed do some harm, a little bit can be quite good for you. Not just any chocolate, though, only the dark variety. Yum. Weekend sleep-ins will help you catch up on lost sleep. That's a myth. As comfy as your bed is on a Sunday morning, you just can't make up for lost sleep. Irregular sleep can lower your concentration and performance. If you're refreshed when you wake up, you've had the right amount. 
zombies are real. True! Now, no human has ever turned into a hungry zombie that were shown so much in the movies, but they do exist in the animal kingdom. A fungus that has a really long name I don't want to pronounce takes over ants with its chemicals. Under the control of the fungus, the ant leaves its family to find a very specific branch or leaf. Then it lets the fungus sprout out of it and release spores back into the world. How delightful! The largest living organism is the blue whale, African elephant, or shack. (laughs) Myth. While all of those are large, the honey fungus in the Blue Mountains, Oregon, wins by quite a bit. With the length of 3.4 miles, that's six and a half Burj Khalifa's end to end, and it's still growing. But on the bright side, it's edible. Mushroom omelet, anyone? Turkeys can blush. True! Just like humans, turkeys blush when excited, angry, or sick. The skin on their heads and necks can turn red or even a shade of blue. The fleshy flap of skin that hangs over their neck is called a snood. It also turns bright red when the bird is excited. Yeah, maybe not at Thanksgiving, though. We only have five senses. Myth. There's no right number. Some say 5, 7, 14, 24, or even 57. Our most basic senses are actually sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But also movement, body position, temperature, balance, and the sense of our internal state. Like feeling your heart. For example, close your eyes and touch your nose. That's proprioception, or body position. Bats are blind. Myth! Bats' eyesight is actually better at nighttime than ours. They just can't see as well in daytime, because they only see in black and white. Perhaps this myth arose from the fact that bats use sonar to navigate without sight. Unicorns are real. True! They're not horses, though. It's deer that are likely the culprit. A single horn can be a genetic anomaly found in some species, possibly leading to the unicorn legend that formed a long time ago. Sorry, Scotland, it may be your national animal, but it's not the right picture. Honey never spoils. Myth. Uncovered in a humid environment, it will spoil. As long as the lid stays on it and no water is added to it, honey shouldn't go bad, though. Having antifungal and antibacterial properties means no organisms can live in it. No matter how old your stored honey is, it's probably perfectly edible. Oranges are always orange. Myth. Sweet oranges are a hybrid of tangerines and the pomelo with a bright green skin to help protect them from the sun. In warmer climates, like Southeast Asia, oranges are still a bright green when ripe. Makes you wonder what came first, the fruit or the color. There are bugs in your strawberry frappuccino. True. Eh, But not anymore. A dye made of ground-up tiny insects called cochineal bugs is used by many companies to make the color red. Starbucks stopped using bug red color in their strawberry frappuccinos in 2015. Firefighters use wetter water. True. To be more efficient at stopping fires, firefighters recently started adding certain chemicals to the water. The wetting agents reduced the surface tension of the water, making it easier to spread and soak into objects. Leave wasps alone and they'll leave you alone. Myth. While this works for bees, their cousins, the yellow jackets, will disagree. Known as one of the most bad-tempered wasps, they've been said to sting unprovoked, even if you just happen to walk by their nest. If you see wasps, give them a wide berth. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be torn down after 20 years. True. The Eiffel Tower was designed to show off France's industrial power during the World's Fair. The designers cleverly put transmitters and antennas on top to make the tower too useful to eventually demolish. Head lice prefer dirty hair. Myth. Lice don't really think about hair cleanliness. They simply need human hair to hang on to, whether it's squeaky clean or greasier than a fryer. Lice feed off of our scalps, and the hair is just a place to hang out. Camel's humps store water. 
myth. Camels don't store water. They store fat in their tissues, just like me after the holidays. These reservoirs of fat allow camels to survive for days in the desert without stopping for food. They drink large amounts of water at a time and store that in their bloodstream. You need to drink 8 glasses of water a day. Myth Staying hydrated is critical, especially in hotter weather. But we seem to forget that every drink is mainly water, even tea and coffee. Our bodies are the best indicators for when to drink water. Feel thirsty? Then it's time to have a drink. An elephant never forgets. True. Having the biggest brain of all land animals, elephants should have a great memory, and they do. Being able to remember their entire territory, friends, and spots to find water is crucial to the social structure of elephants. They might even have a better memory than you and I. Now, where did I leave my keys? Bananas grow upside down. True. Bananas grow naturally towards the sun as they're getting larger. That's why there's a curve. So does that mean we've been peeling them the wrong way this whole time? Maybe. No number before 1,000 contains the letter A. True. Now you can try and spell each number out if you like, but I bet you're just going to take my word for it. The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle arguments. True. The world's best trivia book was published in 1955 after an argument about the fastest game bird in Europe. The managing director of Guinness Brewery realized there wasn't a go-to book for trivial questions, so he created his own, and the rest is history. You're eating real wasabi. Myth. When you're sitting down for tasty sushi, that green paste sometimes isn't wasabi. It's horseradish. Real wasabi is very expensive with a milder taste to it. If it's not made in front of you, it's not going to be the real thing. So there. Check this out! Each zebra has its own unique pattern of stripes, just as people have their own unique fingerprints. Is it just a myth, or is it the truth? What do you think? It's true. Stripes on each zebra form a unique pattern, so it's impossible to find two zebras that are exactly the same. The stylish black and white pattern serves as an optical illusion to confuse and scare away their key enemies, predators and annoying insects such as tsetse flies or horse flies. Zebras are probably aware of how fabulous they are because they take time to groom one another. So if you ever see two zebras standing close to one another, they aren't biting each other, it's a friendly beauty routine. Unlike humans, zebras can't scratch themselves on their own that easily, so they're just pulling loose hairs off each other. I do that. Although zebras live in herds, they usually create smaller family groups – a male, several females, and their offspring. And each member of that group is unique when it comes to their stripe patterns. All bats are blind. Would you buy it? Nah, it's just a myth. Being blind as a bat is a figure of speech, and it comes from the assumption that bats cannot see properly. In ancient times, also known as before the 21st century, people used to think that bats were blind, judging these charismatic creatures by their weird flight patterns. Many bats do use echolocation to navigate, but still, all of them can see. Here comes the next one. Lobsters are monogamous and stay together for a lifetime. True or false, what do you say? Well, sorry to spoil the romance, but it's just a myth made popular by a famous TV show. In real life, lobsters aren't monogamous at all. Dominant male lobsters mate with several females. And then, one by one, they vanish, only to reappear on a restaurant table with melted butter. Mm. No worries, the animal kingdom still has some hopeless romantics that remain faithful to their mates throughout their lives. Swans, gray wolves, beavers, bald eagles, gibbons, to name a few. You can get warts from handling frogs or toads. What do you think about this rumor? Ah, it's an old myth, probably related to the fact that both toads and frogs have bumps on their skin. Visually, these bumps remind of warts, 
But they're just glands that never secrete any substances that could cause humans to get warts. There are no amphibians that can give you warts, but shaking hands with another human who has them can. Moving on, turtles live inside their shells, and they can go outdoors anytime. Is it true or false? It's a myth. Those fairy tale and cartoon turtles pop out of their shells whenever they like. But in fact, saying that turtles live inside their shells is like saying that people live inside their own skin. A shell isn't just a separate empty space that serves as a costume. Although turtles can tuck their limbs inside for protection, it's actually an integral part of the turtle's anatomy. Take a look at the actual structure of its skeleton. The shell is fused to the bones of the skeleton, and the turtle can't live without it. The same goes for tortoises. One major key difference between turtles and tortoises is that tortoises spend most of their time on land, while turtles are designed to hang out in the water. That's why turtles have thinner and more water-dynamic shells, and tortoises' shells are more rounded and domed. Next, koalas' fingerprints are indistinguishable from humans. Does this sound realistic? Although it definitely sounds like it's made up, in fact, it's true. If you compare a human fingerprint to a koala's, you'd hardly be able to tell the difference even under a microscope. When scientists made this discovery, they warned the police because these fluffy little cuties are really capable of confusing forensics at crime scenes. The smart guys suppose that the koala's fingertip features have recently improved independently in their evolutionary history. Koala's relatives like kangaroos and wombats don't have the same features. Koalas probably develop these complicated fingerprints because they help them grip onto leaves and branches more easily. Koalas are known as super fussy eaters. In fact, they prefer eucalyptus leaves of a particular age. Mm. Their sensitive fingers may have evolved as a tool to spot out the right leaves by their texture. Koalas aren't the only mammals with human-like fingerprints, by the way. Finger patterns of chimps and gorillas are also pretty complex. Ready to move on to the next rumor? Ostriches put their heads in the sand to hide from predators. Myth or true? What do you say? Nah, it's just a myth. Ostriches don't stick their heads in the sand when threatened. In fact, these guys don't bury their heads whatsoever. This myth has spread, thanks to that famous idiom, to hide one's head in the sand. In real life, ostriches have to dig holes in the sand for their eggs because they're flightless birds. To make sure they're evenly heated, ostriches put their heads in there to rotate the eggs from time to time. But ostriches still have some escaping mentality. When they face some threat, they can flop to the sand and stay perfectly still, pretending they aren't alive. Goldfish can't remember anything for longer than a second. Hmm, can it really be that bad? If you often say you have a goldfish memory as an excuse for forgetting something important, I have some bad news for you. Multiple studies have proven that goldfish can remember things for several months, if not more. Scientists from an Israeli university held the cutest experiment. For one month, they turned on classical music while feeding the fish. They believed that this practice would teach the fish to associate the melody with food. In five months, after the end of that training period, the fish still got excited and started looking for food every time they heard the music piece that had played earlier. Ah, Mozart! Hey, where's my food? It's not clear exactly where this myth came from or why it's so popular. But some people suggest that goldfish owners started it as they felt guilty about keeping their pets in tiny bowls. Cats and dogs are colorblind. Any thoughts on this one? Well, that's not true. Cats and dogs have much better color vision than we thought. This myth is probably just an exaggeration of the fact that each animal perceives colors differently than people. Studies reveal that both cats and dogs can see in green and blue. They also have more light-sensing cells in their eyes, also known as rods, than humans do. It means that cats and dogs can see way better in low light spaces. Dogs' eyes have fewer cones, those color-sensing cells. That's why scientists believe that dogs' approximate color vision is only about one-seventh as vibrant as humans. Sharks can only breathe and stay alive when they swim. Does this one sound real to you? According to a popular misbelief, 
Sharks can breathe only while moving because swimming helps them push water over their gills. Although many kinds of sharks are designed this way, many others, like bottom-dwelling nurse sharks, don't need swimming to pump oxygen-rich water over their gills. Meanwhile, all sharks do lack swim bladders, so if they stop swimming, they'll probably sink to the bottom. But luckily, a shark's body can't be compressed. That's why rapid descents or ascents are safe for them. Sea otters hold hands so they don't drift apart while sleeping. Can you believe that? Yep, it's true. You can keep awing at it, but in fact, this way of sleeping has a practical purpose for them. Scientists suggest that sea otters develop this cute habit to stay close with their mating partners. If you hold your otter girlfriend's hand tightly all night, it will reduce the risk of her mating with another male while you're sleeping. Shameless. Also, holding hands helps otters to protect themselves from predators because they stay away from the land altogether. Now, if a human touches a bird nestling, its mother will abandon it. Myth or truth? What do you think? Luckily, it's just a myth. In fact, parent birds don't recognize their younglings by smell. So feel free to put the cuties back in the nest. And always hang on to your otter girlfriend so you won't get eaten. Good advice. Diamonds aren't a special gemstone. True. While diamonds may be a great engagement rock, they're not as rare as we've been made to believe. Advertising campaigns have made this very common rock something extraordinary. If you want something really rare, painite gems will look beautiful and empty your wallet at the same time. Around $50,000 a carat. Fruit Loops have different flavors. Myth. There's no point in avoiding the color you don't like. All the colors are the same flavor. Even Kellogg's has stated that they all share the same blended fruit flavor. Well, now I don't know what to believe anymore. Dropping a penny from the Empire State Building can obliterate a person below. Myth. While the penny won't tickle, it will not damage anyone on the ground. Simply, the penny can't build up enough speed while it's tumbling to the ground. Better to just keep the change in your pocket. The moon has a dark side. Myth. No, the moon isn't going to use the force to rule. Our satellite is tidally locked with the Earth, meaning that we're always looking at one side. But there's no permanent dark side. Kleenex was originally designed for gas masks. True. Yeah, Kimberly Clark originally designed a thin cotton substitute to be used as a filter. In 1924, Kleenex began selling in the U.S. as a cold cream and makeup remover, eventually turning into the soft tissues we love today. Chocolate is bad for you. Boy, isn't that a myth. (laughs) While too much chocolate, just like too much of anything, can indeed do some harm, a little bit can be quite good for you. Not just any chocolate, though, only the dark variety. Yum. Weekend sleep-ins will help you catch up on lost sleep. That's a myth. As comfy as your bed is on a Sunday morning, you just can't make up for lost sleep. Irregular sleep can lower your concentration and performance. If you're refreshed when you wake up, you've had the right amount. Zombies are real. True! Now, no human has ever turned into a hungry zombie that were shown so much in the movies, but they do exist in the animal kingdom. A fungus that has a really long name I don't want to pronounce takes over ants with its chemicals. Under the control of the fungus, the ant leaves its family to find a very specific branch or leaf. Then it lets the fungus sprout out of it and release spores back into the world. How delightful. The largest living organism is the blue whale, African elephant, or shack. (laughs) Myth. While all of those are large, The honey fungus in the Blue Mountains, Oregon, wins by quite a bit. With the length of 3.4 miles, that's six and a half Burj Khalifa's end-to-end, and it's still growing. But on the bright side, it's edible. Mushroom omelet, anyone? Turkeys can blush. True! Just like humans, turkeys blush when excited, angry, or sick. The skin on their heads and necks can turn red or even a shade of blue. The fleshy flap of skin that hangs over their neck is called a snood. 
It also turns bright red when the bird is excited. Yeah, maybe not at Thanksgiving, though. We only have five senses. Myth. There's no right number. Some say 5, 7, 14, 24, or even 57. Our most basic senses are actually sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. But also movement, body position, temperature, balance, and the sense of our internal state. Like feeling your heart. For example, close your eyes and touch your nose. That's proprioception, or body position. Bats are blind. Myth! Bats' eyesight is actually better at nighttime than ours. They just can't see as well in daytime, because they only see in black and white. Perhaps this myth arose from the fact that bats use sonar to navigate without sight. Unicorns are real. True. They're not horses, though. It's deer that are likely the culprit. A single horn can be a genetic anomaly found in some species, possibly leading to the unicorn legend that formed a long time ago. Honey never spoils. Myth. Uncovered in a humid environment, it will spoil. As long as the lid stays on it and no water is added to it, honey shouldn't go bad, though. Having antifungal and antibacterial properties means no organisms can live in it. No matter how old your stored honey is, it's probably perfectly edible. Oranges are always orange. Myth. Sweet oranges are a hybrid of tangerines and the pomelo, with a bright green skin to help protect them from the sun. In warmer climates, like Southeast Asia, oranges are still a bright green when ripe. Makes you wonder what came first, the fruit or the color. There are bugs in your strawberry frappuccino. True. Eh, but not anymore. A dye made of ground-up tiny insects called cochineal bugs is used by many companies to make the color red. Starbucks stopped using bug red color in their strawberry frappuccinos in 2015. Firefighters use wetter water. True. To be more efficient at stopping fires, firefighters recently started adding certain chemicals to the water. The wetting agents reduce the surface tension of the water, making it easier to spread and soak into objects. Leave wasps alone and they'll leave you alone. Myth. While this works for bees, their cousins, the yellow jackets, will disagree. Known as one of the most bad-tempered wasps, they've been said to sting unprovoked, even if you just happen to walk by their nest. If you see wasps, give them a wide berth. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be torn down after 20 years. True. The Eiffel Tower was designed to show off France's industrial power during the World's Fair. The designers cleverly put transmitters and antennas on top to make the tower too useful to eventually demolish. Head lice prefer dirty hair. Myth. Lice don't really think about hair cleanliness. They simply need human hair to hang on to, whether it's squeaky clean or greasier than a fryer. Lice feed off of our scalps, and the hair is just a place to hang out. Camel's humps store water. Myth. Camels don't store water. They store fat in their tissues, just like me after the holidays. These reservoirs of fat allow camels to survive for days in the desert without stopping for food. They drink large amounts of water at a time and store that in their bloodstream. You need to drink 8 glasses of water a day. Myth. Staying hydrated is critical, especially in hotter weather. But we seem to forget that every drink is mainly water, even tea and coffee. Our bodies are the best indicators for when to drink water. Feel thirsty? Then it's time to have a drink. An elephant never forgets. True. Having the biggest brain of all land animals, elephants should have a great memory. And they do. Being able to remember their entire territory, friends, and spots to find water is crucial to the social structure of elephants. They might even have a better memory than you and I. Now, where did I leave my keys? Bananas grow upside down. True. Bananas grow naturally towards the sun as they're getting larger. That's why there's a curve. So does that mean we've been peeling them the wrong way this whole time? Maybe. No number before 1,000 contains the letter A. True. 
Now, you can try and spell each number out if you like, but I bet you're just going to take my word for it. The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle arguments. True. The world's best trivia book was published in 1955 after an argument about the fastest game bird in Europe. The managing director of Guinness Brewery realized there wasn't a go-to book for trivial questions, so he created his own, and the rest is history. You're eating real wasabi. Myth. When you're sitting down for tasty sushi, that green paste sometimes isn't wasabi. It's horseradish. Real wasabi is very expensive with a milder taste to it. If it's not made in front of you, it's not going to be the real thing. So there. Picture this. You're floating weightlessly in space, sipping on a cup of delicious hot chocolate, when a peculiar thought pops into your head. Can you scream in outer space? And if yes, would anyone hear that scream? If you've watched the movie Alien, then you know the answer to this one. You can't hear sounds in outer space. It's not that sounds don't exist. It's just that you can't hear them. There's no one better to clarify this myth than Chris Hadfield. He's been on a couple of spacewalks during his life as an astronaut. And once you're out there in the darkness of space, you can't hear anything. All you hear is silence. Complete silence. But hey, just around the corner is a massive ball of explosion, aka the sun. We just can't hear the explosions happening because there's no medium for sound to travel through. It would be quite uncomfortable for an astronaut though if they could hear all the noises going on in outer space. Now, imagine you're zipping through space, feeling like a futuristic superhero, when a shooting star passes by your side. But wait, is it really a star? Unfortunately, shooting stars are not stars at all. They are small space rocks known as meteoroids, entering Earth's atmosphere and creating a stunning light show. Oh, and since we're debunking myths, let's head straight for another one. You've probably heard that meteors only crash into Earth on extremely rare occasions. Like once every dinosaur extinguishing apocalypse. That's not true. Scientists estimate that about 48 tons of meteoritic material fall on Earth each day. But almost all of this material is vaporized in Earth's atmosphere. The bright trail we see in the night sky is what we popularly call a shooting star. Next time you make a wish upon a shooting star, Remember, you're actually hoping on a tiny piece of space debris. It's not so romantic after all. Can we or can we not fly into the stratosphere on air balloons? Apparently, we can. The Earth's stratosphere starts relatively close to the ground, about 7 or 8 miles up from the Earth's surface, but it continues a long way up. If you were to fly yourself all the way into the stratosphere with some type of air balloon, just make sure you have really good equipment at hand. You'll need a special suit and some breathing devices because air starts to get pretty thin the higher you get. Of course, if you do go all the way up, you need to get a picture of the Earth's curvature. So take a chest harness with you where you can put a special camera or something like that. And how about you live stream the whole thing? That would be a first! Imagine it's been 102 days since you left Earth. You've adapted well to life in outer space, but something weird is happening to your body. You're getting taller. How is that even possible? Don't stress about it, it's completely normal. The truth of the matter is, you're not getting taller. This is what happens to your body when it's not under the effect of gravity. Our body has natural space between vertebrae and joints. On Earth, this space is almost completely squeezed due to the force of gravity. But in space, your body gets some time off of the pushing force of gravity and begins to stretch more and more. So yes, astronauts can grow up to 3% taller when they're on long missions. And here's a curiosity, NASA has that all covered when they're tailor-making spacesuits, of course. This way, astronauts will always have extra space in their suits. Once astronauts are back on Earth, the anti-gravity effect will wear off. So maybe they'll spend a few days wearing capri pants before it fits perfectly on their bodies again. 
Never have I ever pictured an airplane door bursting open mid-flight and a bunch of passengers being sucked into the atmosphere like flying feathers. Well, I'm betting most of you have had similar thoughts when getting inside a plane. Now imagine if this were to happen in outer space. Common knowledge says that if an astronaut is sucked out of an airlock, this person would be burnt to a crisp. Brace yourselves, because this is not only true, but the reality of it is way worse. According to astronaut Chris Hadfield, this is what would happen. The part of your body in the shade of the sun would experience temperatures of negative 418 degrees Fahrenheit, while the part of you getting sunlight would burn at around 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Your lungs would collapse, and your blood would start to boil like tea water. So, you would burn, freeze, lose your ability to breathe, and boil. Yikes! How many times have you heard that astronauts have to work out every second of every day, otherwise they'll pass out? This is a complete myth. Remember we talked about gravity earlier? Due to the lack of gravity in outer space, our bodies don't have to do any heavy work. Our torsos don't have to sustain the weight of our heads, and we don't have to make any effort to move our legs because, essentially, there's no walking in outer space. Now, imagine living like that for six months or even a year of your life. Your muscles could turn into jello. That's why astronauts work out. They'll strap themselves and run on a treadmill, or they'll do some weightlifting in a special machine. This way, their muscles won't feel the lack of gravity too much. They do need to keep hydrated, though. You know what? If I was an astronaut, I'd ask NASA if I could take my super soft water flask up into space with me. You've probably heard that space smells like burnt steak or barbecue sauce. Now, as much as this sounds absurd, this myth is more true than it is false. Astronauts obviously can't smell space when they're in it because they can't take off their helmets. They usually smell it once a space vehicle docks and they open up a hatch. Apparently, what causes this smell is the presence of hydrocarbons that float around in space. Who would have thought, huh? Hey, smart people, let me ask you a question. Do you really think that if astronauts fly at the speed of light, they won't age a single second? I knew you'd say no. Let's get a few things straight. First of all, we haven't figured out how to operate vehicles at the speed of light. This would require an immense amount of energy, and we don't have the technology to do that. Second, even if we managed to send a human inside a spacecraft that traveled at the speed of light, this person would still age. They would age differently than the people who remained on Earth, that's a fact, but they would still age. Do you lot really think there's such a thing as immortality? Nah. If you've seen the first Avatar, then you certainly remember that humans only managed to get to Pandora because they traveled in cryosleep. In other words, they froze their bodies, put them in a cryo bed, and traveled for years without aging. Yes, this sounds amazing, but we still don't have the technology to do that. Our bodies are mainly made out of water, right? And when you freeze water, it expands. That's why you should never leave soda cans unattended in your freezer. Right now, if we froze a person's body, the water inside of it would expand, harming tissues and organs. So no, we can't cryosleep our way into interstellar travel. Not yet, at least. Here's a crazy thought. What would happen if an astronaut took a drone with him on one of their spacewalks? Unless it's a NASA-designed drone, maybe the thing would freeze and burn like humans would if they went into space without a suit. But hey, a person can dream, can't they? All right, check this out. Water boils faster when you add a bit of salt. Myth. It doesn't make any difference, and even if it does, it may take longer for the water to boil. But it might make your pasta taste better. <laughs> Just saying. Bats are blind. Mm-mm, not true. The myth probably comes from the fact that they're nocturnal creatures and have extraordinary hearing abilities. They chase mostly when it's dark and rely on a thing called echolocation. But it doesn't mean they're blind. Their eyes aren't useless, they're just adjusted to low light conditions. A blue whale is so big, its tongue can weigh as much as a big elephant. True. Yep, these fellas are huge. You lose more heat through your head. Nah. The real reason why people believe it is because when it's cold, our head is the only part we're most likely to keep uncovered. 
If we went outside wearing just a t-shirt, we'd lose heat through our arms, not to mention legs, hips, and other parts. So wear a hat, guys! Tongue Map says we have different parts for different tastes. Mm, not really. There are individual taste buds that sense certain flavors more than they do with others, but it doesn't mean one area can taste sweet better than the other. Studies showed all mouth areas have taste buds sensitive to all tastes. Hey, check out this tongue map for the blue whale! <laughs> Looks like she's partial to plankton. Dinosaurs were giant. Well, that's false. Movies show them as huge scaly lizards, but nope. First off, there were many smaller dinosaur species, and some of them were as small as a turkey or a pigeon. Plus, some dinos, like T. rex, were even covered with feathers, especially at the early stages of their lives. Oxygen is colorless. Partially true. In gas form, it has no color, but in solid or liquid form, it has a sky blue shade. Chameleons change color because they want to match their surroundings. Myth. That would probably be a very tiring thing to do. In reality, some other things, like mood, temperature, or the amount of light they get, affect their color. When chameleons relax and stretch cells, crystals that are inside of them are affected by the light. These animals use crystals to communicate with each other. So, for example, darker shades show that they're not in such a good mood. It's more like they kind of feel aggressive. So I think I'll back off here. Neanderthals aren't our ancestors either, even though they lived with modern humans at the same time at one point, but mostly in different areas of our planet. So they're not just a stage of human development, but a different lineage. They were also pretty creative. They used fire, made tools, ate medicinal plants, cleaned their teeth, and so many more things similar to our species. Neanderthals probably went extinct because of harsh climate changes. Turkeys can blush. <laughs> that one is true. They're just like us when it comes to this. When angry, excited, or even feeling bad, the skin on their necks and heads turns red. <laughs> just like my big brother. Black holes are not really holes, as the name may imply. They are very dense objects with an extremely strong gravitational pull. Flamingos are such cool animals. True. They bend their legs at the knee. Myth. They actually bend them at the ankles, since the knees are closer to the body as well as covered in feathers. Supermarket apples are fresh. Eh, maybe yes, but maybe not. They can be up to one year old, since they're often picked between August and November. After that, they're covered in wax and dried in hot air. Finally, they're sent into cold storage, and after 6 to 12 months, we see them on the supermarket shelves. Bottled water has an expiration date? True. But that doesn't mean the water is the thing that expires. The bottle does. The plastic starts to leak into the water, and some unwanted chemicals appear. The tea bag wasn't actually planned. True. In the early 20th century, Thomas Sullivan filled small soaken bags with samples of tea leaves and sent them to his customers. The idea was to open them and toss tea leaves in the hot water. Many customers thought they were supposed to put those bags into the teapot without opening them. The tea bag went through some improvements, got string and a paper tag at the end, and the new unplanned invention was ready. Lightning will never strike the same spot twice. Mm -mm, not true. The Empire State Building was once struck eight times in only 24 minutes. There was a terrible storm, and nothing could or can generally keep lightning away from the place that got hit. If a struck place has features that attracted the lightning in the first place, like terrain shape, standing water, or height, it may attract it once again. You have so much DNA in your body that you can actually stretch it from the sun to Pluto and back. True. And not just once, 17 times. Of course, you're not going to look the same after you do that. Crocodiles are one of the oldest species in the world. Yup. They have been around for 200 million years already like my neighbors down the street. Opossums sleep while hanging by their tails. You can see that in cartoons and some photos, but in general, they don't. Their tails are really strong, so these animals can grip branches and hold their weight, but only for short periods. Adults are really too heavy to stay in this position for too long, so they wouldn't get much rest. Goldfish have a 3 second long memory. Nope. Those colorful fish are actually really smart. One study showed goldfish could tell the difference between two classical songs. They're not quick learners, true, but after over 100 sessions, they did it, which wouldn't be possible if their memory could really last only for 3 seconds. One type of salamander, um, you can read that on your own, go ahead, can extend its tongue over half of its body length in only 7 milliseconds. True. 
that's 50 times faster than a blink of an eye. Ooh, gotta be fast to catch that tongue map. People can multitask. Not true. Checking emails, talking on the phone, cooking… It seems like doing several things at the same time saves time, but research shows multitasking is not quite possible. Our brain is wired to do one thing at a time. So when we think we're multitasking, it's actually switching tasks, which can take even longer rather than saving us some time. As well as whittling down our attention spans. Earth is not the only planet with water. NASA discovered Jupiter had an ocean with twice as much water as we have on our planet. It's right under a layer of ice. Even Mars has some liquid water flowing. Also, the Earth is round. Or is it? Technically, it has flattened poles, together with a bulge at the equator. That way, it has an irregular shape of an ellipsoid. Zombies are not made up. True. Okay, humans can't turn into ones as we see in movies. But the animal kingdom has its zombies. For instance, there's a type of fungus that takes over ants, spreading specific chemicals in their brains. That makes an ant leave its family, looking for the place where this fungus wants to live. The world's biggest waterfall is under the ocean. Oh, very true! It's in the Nordic seas. The cold seawater is denser than the warm waterfall. The drop is almost 2 miles long. The smallest wasp in the world is not bigger than an amoeba. True! This wasp has the same body parts as other bugs, like eyes, wings, brain, legs, and more, but it's just 0.008 inches long, which, in most cases, makes it smaller than one-celled organisms we also know as amoebas. Snow can only be white. Not true. And I'm not talking about the snow near fire hydrants. For example, there are some mountains with pink snow, like the Sierra Nevada in California. Its color is caused by a certain type of algae living there. Aurora Borealis has a sister. True. It's called Aurora Australis, and you can see it in the southern hemisphere. The best time to see it is in winter. Over 99% of atoms is empty space. True. If we collected all the people in the world together and removed all the empty space between the atoms out of them, the population of Earth would fit into the size of an average orange. I think we should try that. Then I could finally get a seat on the bus. Dolphins communicate and call each other by names. True. They use specific vocal whistles to identify each other. So long and thanks for all the fish. The toilet flushes in different directions when on different hemispheres. Nope. The direction is the same whether the toilet is in Australia or France. Really? A snail can have a pretty extended nap. True. Some snails can sleep for around three years in a row. Sharks smell just one tiny drop of blood from miles away. Eh, not quite. Sure, their brain region in charge of smelling odors is enlarged, but the ocean is really big. Plus, it takes time for odor molecules to spread in liquid. On a pretty good day with favorable currents, a shark may smell the prey from a distance of a couple of football fields away, but not miles. Finally, penguins propose to their significant other. True. They're monogamous, and after choosing a mate, the male gives the female a pebble to show his affection. Ah. Now, cartoons might show it differently, but mice are not actually that into cheese. This myth occurred during the Middle Ages. At that time, many foods rats and mice like way more than cheese were out of their reach. For example, people would store grains in jars or keep meat hanging. But cheese usually matured hidden in cupboards or shelves. Rats and mice could easily get to these spots. So people would usually find them there, eating not what they liked the best, but what was within their reach. Now dogs don't see the world in black and white. They do distinguish colors, but not as well as we do. We have three types of cones in our eyes, while dogs only have two of those. Cones are special photoreceptors that help us perceive colors. Dogs can see certain colors, such as blue and yellow, better than the rest, and they can hardly see red and green. Dogs' mouths are by no means cleaner than humans. They have over 600 kinds of bacteria in their mouths, and their saliva doesn't have any healing properties. They don't sweat through their tongues either. When dogs pant, their tongues hang out, so people think that's how they sweat. But in reality, most sweat glands are on their paw pads and all over their body. They pant to evaporate extra moisture from their nasal passages, tongues, and the lining of their lungs. Panting is also another way to cool down. Opossums have some pretty cool abilities. 
They have a good memory and immunity to most snakes' venom. They're also very social. But contrary to popular belief, they don't sleep while hanging by their tails. These animals have strong tails, true, and it makes them excellent climbers. But they don't have the necessary muscle structure to hold such a position for a long time. Now, bats are not blind. They are nocturnal animals and might not see well during the day, but their vision is three times better than ours during the night. They do lack color receptors, but people can't see colors in low light either. Bats also use echolocation, which is locating things by the sound waves they reflect to detect small insects in the air. Chameleons have the ability to change the colors on their body. But they don't do it just to blend in with their surroundings. They do it to communicate with others of their kind or to regulate the body temperature, not to camouflage themselves. When these animals are in their natural state, they mostly resemble branches or leaves. Now, it sure looks like it, but rhino horns aren't made of bone. They're made of keratin, the same material you can find in your fingernails and hair. A horn is not attached to the rhino's skull. Instead, it's like a very, very compacted mass of hair. It grows throughout the rhino's lifetime, just like our nails and hair. The horn also looks like something a rhino can use for its defense, but that's not always the case. Some animals use their teeth to protect themselves against their enemies. No wonder the teeth on their lower jaws are so sharp. If you press the snooze button in the morning, you're not actually going to get those extra 10 minutes of sleep. It sure feels good to postpone getting up and staying in the warm bed at that moment. But the snooze button makes you feel more tired instead of providing you with extra rest. You see, your brain believes it's going to fall asleep again, which is why it will get harder and harder for you to get up when the alarm rings for the second or fifth time. In the long run, the snooze button may mess with your ability to get high-quality deep sleep. Now, when you mention desserts, I always think of chocolate. Oh wait, I did a boo-boo. Let's start that again. When you mention deserts, most people picture endless sandy areas, hot and dry. But you should define deserts not by temperatures, but by a lack of precipitation. Most of the well-known deserts across the world are indeed hot, but some are extremely cold. For example, there are polar deserts in northern Greenland. Um, can we talk about chocolate some more? No? Okay. Well, here's another one. Lightning won't strike the same place twice. Mm, Not really. In fact, lightning can and often does strike the same spot repeatedly. So if you get caught in a thunderstorm, better look around. Instead of hiding in the place already struck by lightning, try to find some shelter and avoid touching anything metal. You won't see an owl turning its head a full 360 degrees, even though it may look like the bird is doing it. Instead of eyeballs, owls have eye tubes. These tubes go far back into their skulls. In other words, owls have their eyes fixed in place. That's why they have to turn their heads when they want to see what's going on around them. They can't make a full circle with their necks, but they come very close, 270 degrees, which is three quarters of a full rotation. (laughs) Not bad. Cats don't only purr when they feel content and happy. They can also do it if they're sick, scared, or even angry. Despite all stereotypes, these felines don't gracefully land on their feet every time they fall. True, they do have the so-called writing reflex. A cat has a vestibular apparatus inside its inner ear, which is the natural balancing system the animal uses to orient itself. With the help of this system, a cat can quickly figure out how to rotate its head so that the body can follow. In the end, the animal lands on its feet, but this reflex doesn't work every time. Elephants don't use their trunks as a drinking straw. When an elephant is thirsty, it pulls some water into its trunk, then brings it to its mouth and funnels the water inside. In other words, when these animals drink water, it doesn't go through their trunks, the same as people don't drink through their noses. Well, most people. Elephants have huge ears, but they can also listen with their feet. When they want to examine some faraway noise, elephants freeze and lean forward so that most of their weight is on their front legs. Sometimes they even lift one of their front feet. They rely on seismic communication, which means they detect sound waves that travel not through the air, but through the ground. 
There are many myths about your brain, like its right part is creative and the left one is logical. But your brain doesn't work this way. It's not strictly divided into parts that exclusively cover only one area, like logic or creativity or something else. Actions you take and things you go through are the results of the activity of your entire brain. The cerebral cortex is the part of your brain that consists of two halves. But both of them are connected to many other areas that make up the rest of the brain. So, no neurons in the left part of your brain will turn you into a computer whiz. And those in the right half won't turn you into a poet. Now, you may think your brain shuts off when you fall asleep. But it doesn't. It has slow activity rates when you're in a deep sleep and becomes more active when you're dreaming. During this stage, your brain's activity is almost the same as it is when you're fully awake. Now, not to freak you out, but you don't see with your eyes, hear with your ears, or feel with your skin. For example, you're washing your face, but your skin itself doesn't have sensors for wetness. Your brain uses a combination of multiple sources of information, including temperature, touch, or your earlier experience. That's why you feel that your face is wet. Your brain creates that sensation after analyzing all kinds of different information. Your brain doesn't actually react to things going on around you. It may seem like that. You see a cute little puppy, and it makes you smile. Your friend makes some silly joke, and you blush. But neurons in your brain don't just wait until something happens to react to that. Instead, they're trying to guess what might happen next all the time. Your brain starts analyzing your actions and the experiences you've gone through even before it gets data from your ears, nose, eyes, and other organs. Your brain is always working to predict what the world will be like in the next moment and what you will do in this world. So even though you're not actually reacting to the world, this process of prediction is happening so effortlessly and quickly that you feel like you do. Moving on, Jupiter doesn't technically orbit the Sun. When a smaller and less massive space object circles a bigger one, it doesn't travel in a perfect circle. Instead, both of these objects follow their respective elliptical orbits around a barycenter, which is their common center of gravity. Earth is way smaller than the Sun. That's why the barycenter it shares with our star is really close to the center of the Sun. That's why we can't see that our planet's orbit is a little bit off-kilter. But Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Its weight is more than twice as great as that of the rest of the planets, asteroids, moons, and comets combined. That's why the very center of Jupiter and the Sun is a little further from the star's center, around 30,000 miles above the surface. Okay, can we go back to the chocolate? Well, maybe next time.